trying to get these bills paid. So click the link in my description so I can make some extra change. Anyways, make sure you guys check out Car Marshall. Click the description down below. Type in your zip code if you're looking for a new or used car near you. If you're looking for a car to go to school, or looking for a new car to get around, click my description down below. You never know. There could be sellers on there. You shop. They negotiate. You can find a reasonable price. Check it out. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my loves. It's Zest and Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. Now, I know what some of y'all are thinking. Where the hell have you been? Where the fuck have you been? Let me tell y'all. Fucking YouTube suspending me from posting on here for seven days over something so fucking ridiculous that I explained over at my second channel. So for those of y'all who didn't know, I have a second channel, and since I've been gone this entire week, I was posting on there every single day. Uh, I'm gonna do more personal stuff on there, I'm gonna do more rants on there, I'm gonna do a house tour on there soon. I did a video on why I don't fuck with Jess Hilarious, I did a video on the whole Naomi Campbell and the whole sex trafficking scandal, and I also did a video talking about the It's Lovely Mimi scan. So yes, I'm back with another unpopular opinion, and I'm eating my mixed vegetables, cauliflower, and carrots, and broccoli. And then here, I have my tomato salad. Right here is green peppers. And then I have a pickle, and I have tomatoes. Very healthy, low-carb snack. And I'm going to be doing my unpopular opinions, but I fuck up my healthy food. My healthy food. <laughs> Some of y'all gonna die because a lot of y'all got high cholesterol. If y'all don't get y'all shit together, y'all gonna die and I'm not. Anyways, my unpopular opinions. So, every time I do my unpopular opinions, I always lose hundreds and thousands of subscribers. People will be so pressed over my fucking opinion. People will be like, you fat fuck. You're so ignorant. People will be like, oh, your age is showing. You're such a stupid little young prick. And I'm like, bitch, unpopular opinions, dumb fuck. So, long story short, please be mindful that this is my opinion. You don't have to agree. You're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own fucking fact. It's my opinion for a reason. One bitch even commented, oh, I feel like you're just trying to be different. Oh, I feel like you're a little fat ass just, just, just tries to become worse and worse every new video. Your opinions are becoming worse and worse. Now, it's my opinion, okay? And if you don't agree with it, go run in traffic, bitch. Anyways, this is also, by the way, CMOS gel. Dr. Sebi recommended it. So if you guys want, like, healthy skin and shit, this isn't sponsored. If you guys want, like, healthy skin and shit, and you guys want to boost your immune system without taking a whole bunch of pills, I recommend CMOS gel. People mix it into their smoothies or cook with it. I personally rather just take a tablespoon every morning. Soy milk. That shit was disgusting. But if you want to live, I highly recommend it. So, yeah, I'm going to get right into this video. My first opinion is Saweetie's music is trash. It's terrible. I don't see the hype with her. She deserves all the success because she did work very hard. And the only song I like from her is Icy. Other than that, I think Saweetie's music is fucking garbage. And I feel like she makes music for hoes. The Migos should have never went solo. The day they decided to go solo is the day their career is fucking ending. Offset's album dropped and the only successful song on that album was Clout. Other than that, the album was a fucking flop. I'm just saying. Mm. My next popular opinion is Beyonce is not light skinned. She's not. Many people say that she made it because she was light skinned. She's not light skinned. I consider Beyonce brown skinned. She's a beautiful woman, and people gotta stop saying this whole. She only made it because she's light skinned. No, no, no. Beyonce worked her ass off. I'm not a beehive member. She's not light skinned. Point blank. Argue with me if you want to, bitch. You're gonna get blocked. There's nothing wrong with putting your kids on a fucking leash. Literally. <laughs> Every time parents go out in public and they put their kids on leashes, you know those backpack leashes? People give them nasty stares. People say things like, well, kids aren't animals. Kids aren't, kid, kids aren't this, they're not that, they're not dogs. Listen, bitch. 
not your kid, not your problem. If you want to put your kid on a fucking leash, it is what the fuck it is. And I just see no problem with that. I feel like people are way too fucking judgmental. And leashes are safe, safe out here. I mean, y'all should be worried about sex trafficking, bitch. You do know sex trafficking is at an all-time high right now. Instead of being worried about parents putting their kids on a fucking leash, I think people should be upset about sex trafficking and the fact that it barely gets news coverage. If you guys are dealing with sex trafficking or know anything about sex trafficking or know any girls that are trying to recruit other girls for sex trafficking, please be sure to call this number for the U.S. Or if you have, if you live in a different country, please be sure to Google that shit. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're doing shit like this, dragging your kid, at that point, yeah, no. A leash is just a leash. It's not that serious. It's not like it's around their fucking neck. It's a literally, it's literally a backpack. Hot Girl Summer didn't live up to the hype. The song is lackluster. It's okay. I guess it's a decent song. I just feel like it didn't live up to the hype. I feel like, it, I, I found it kind of corny that they were using the City Girls voices on it. I was like, really? Like, come on. Like, can we be more original? Like, why are you guys using the City Girls hook? Like, that was so corny to me. But that's just my opinion. Nicki Minaj always plays the victim. I don't care what nobody says. People love to say, oh, well, Nikki at the end of the day is always getting attacked, this hate train, she never does nothing wrong. Really? Nikki has never done anything wrong? I'm just saying, people need to learn how to hold Nikki Minaj accountable. She's not always the victim. Did you guys know that she tried to get Charlamagne, even though I don't fucking care about Charlamagne, she tried to get Charlamagne fired at his job? Did you know that she'd be doing like little slick shady things behind the scenes? So that people don't show up to award shows like, oh hey, if this person is in attendance, I won't come. Did you know that? Nikki's not 100% innocent. I hate that people always give her a pass for a lot of things. Some things is a hate train. Other things is not. So people need to hold her accountable. The early 2000s had way better music than the 90s as far as creativity. The 2000s was a more creative era than the 90s. The 90s... Almost all fucking songs sounded the fucking same. Let's be realistic. Compare 90s music to 2000s music. The 80s had the best era of music. You give me, you give me the sweetest taboo. Give me 80s had the best music era. The 80s had the best music era because, I mean, come on now. Like, everybody always gives me shit for saying, oh, you're too young. Oh, that's the reason why you say 90s music wasn't all that great. Bitch, I love the 80s. I actually want to live, I, I wish I can go back in time and live in the 80s for a week. We had Paula Abdul. We had Sade, the sweetest taboo. We had fucking Cindy Lauper, time after time. We had Janet Jackson. We had Thriller. We had so many shit in the 80s. Like, I, I wish I could go back. The 80s was the best era of music. If you drink whole milk, you're gonna die, bitch. This is soy milk. Stay woke, everybody. De'Aaron and Ken are boring as fuck. I don't find them entertaining. Maybe one, maybe a couple years ago, yes. But they really just lost their touch of creativity. They do the same shit. They're just boring. But I, I will give them their props for being unproblematic. Perms for children under the age of 14 should be illegal. There are parents out here putting perms in their children's hair at four years old because they don't want to deal with the hassle of taking care of their children's hair. Perms are deadly, toxic. There's so many disgusting chemicals in it. Acid, bleach, ammonia, so much nonsense in it, okay? Perms at a certain age should be illegal and parents should not be perming their kids' hair at such an early age. It's repulsive and disgusting. Most unpopular opinions on YouTube that I watch are trash. 85% <laughs> of them shits are trash. Like every time I watch an unpopular opinion out of being bored, everybody says the same shit. Ariana Grande is overhyped. Billy Hatch is overhyped. AirPods are terrible. Fucking, um, water isn't wet. Fucking, BTS is trash. Chick-fil-A is better. It's like, come on now, like, some of y'all are so fucking corny. And if you feel attacked, yes, bitch, I'm talking about you. No offense, I'm talking about you, and you need to be more creative. YouTubers need to be more creative with popular opinions. I feel like I have the best unpopular opinions on YouTube. The only successful black YouTuber with millions of views, like, I'm talking about black YouTubers that get millions. 
that are mainstream, 95% of them are stereotypes. If they're not a gay black male stereotype that say, yes, iconic, or if, they, if they're not a the quirky black girl stereotype that only hangs around white people and says, you know, shit that would usually come out of a white person's mouth. It's what I'm mixed with, so I am African American, German, French, uh, I have a little bit of Indian inside of me, Frio, and I think that's about it, but I'm mostly German and African American, so. I have a lot of German in me. My, my great-great-grandparents were like all German. Or they're either a couple channel or they're a fucking family channel or they're literally the ghetto stereotype that white people want to see in black people. The extra loud black guy that's always screaming from the top of his lungs. It's just like, I feel like there's no successful YouTuber that's mainstream that's not a stereotype. Like, think about it. 95% of them, if you're either a stereotype or you're not, or you're either not as successful. That's, that's what I'm just, that's what I'm just, you're either a stereotype that white people want to see in you or you don't get the credit you deserve. That's all I'm saying. I will listen to R. Kelly and Michael Jackson as much as I want without feeling guilty, specifically because you can separate the artist from the artist. I shouldn't have to feel guilty about listening to R. Kelly or Michael Jackson because, yes, R. Kelly did fucked up shit. Michael Jackson, he was found innocent, and I think he's innocent, but many people don't think he's innocent. It is what it is. But I'm going to listen to them without feeling guilty. Because at the end of the day, you can separate the art from the artist because if y'all going to drag me, bitch, for listening to R. Kelly... How about you drag yourself, bitch, for listening to Kodak Black? It's that Z shit. It's that Z shit. Yeah. I saw you in the car. I just want to roll in peace. Everybody noticed. I saw that. Keep the same energy with Chris Brown. Keep the same energy with Elvis Presley. Who fucked a little kid. No race owns a hairstyle. I don't care what no one says. No race owns a hairstyle, okay? White people don't own blonde hair. And black women don't own braids or bantu knots. You might have created them and popularized them. But a hairstyle is just a fucking hairstyle. It's not that deep to me, okay? If, people, if, these, if, if Becky wants to wear her snail shell looking bantu knots. And if Rebecca wants to wear her fucking thin ass cornrows. If Becky, Rebecca, and Diane want to wear any of those hairstyles, let them do it. If their hair fucking fall out, it is what it is. People need to stop eating ramen noodles. It has way too much fucking salt in it. <laughs> Why do you think I stop eating it? Religion plays a role in anti-feminism, and it also plays a role in white supremacy. I'm just saying. The Popeye chicken sandwich is trash as fuck. It's literally trash. I know some of y'all saying, well, you was fucking it up. Fun fact, I actually only ate three of them on camera, and the rest I just threw away. Like, I threw the other three away. I had six of them shits, and I only ate three. And I threw the other three away because it just had this oily, slimy aftertaste. And it just, when it got cold, and I'm just like, no. Like, the Popeye's chicken sandwich is trash. It's hyped up, and I don't see the hype. I don't see anything wrong with schools teaching LGBT history. Apparently they're now teaching it in Jersey. And apparently they're also trying to transition to teaching it in, in Las Vegas. And apparently they want to make it available in different states. It's not that fucking serious, okay? <clears throat> in America, it's not that serious. For one, they're already poisoning your kids anyways. And they've already poisoned a lot of us into thinking that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Not only that, they barely show the scrutiny and horror things that minorities had to go through in America back in the early 20s and 30s. So, they don't talk about those things in textbooks. And y'all are good, y'all don't care. Or y'all do care, but just don't say nothing. But when the LGBTQ things want to be taught in school, now it's, 
I'm outraged, I'm mad, I'm gonna withdraw my kid from school. I understand if you're upset, that's perfectly fine, but I'm just saying keep the same energy with every other thing that your kid's being poisoned and exposed to. Like toxic masculinity. And the fact that school isn't about passing no more. Keep the same energy because in school, we're being taught to be employees. And it doesn't prepare you for life or college. Eating inside of an Uber is disgusting as fuck. I hate when people eat in Ubers. It's horrible. I hate when Uber drivers do it. And I hate when people, especially passengers, do it. For one bitch, I remember this deal this one bitch who we, who, it was an Uber pool. And we picked her up from Applebee's. And this bitch had this shrimp scampi pasta. And she just took it out of the bag and started fucking eating it. I'm like, you disrespectful bitch. Like, have some respect for somebody's fucking car. Nasty ass bitch eating that oily ass shit. There's nothing wrong with black women who say that they only prefer white men. It is it is what it is. It's not that serious to me. Specifically because, you gotta understand, not every white man has a nasty fetish for black women. Not every black woman wants to date a white man just so she can have biracial children. Some people just have a preference and they'd rather just date white men for their culture. So I'd rather date white men for... Um, The low seasoning food. Um, listen, people want to date who the fuck they want to date. People always give black women shit for dating white men. It's not that serious. It's really not that deep. When you have a kid, your life is over. That's just my opinion. Because, let me put it this way. When you're young, you had your fun. But when you, when you decide to lay down and have a kid, you decide to have a kid, it's not about your life anymore. It's about that kid's life. Also, any bad decision you make or any mistake you make or any flaws you have will project onto your kid. So you're worried about that kid's life. You can still have a social life. It is what it is, of course. Have a social life. But your life is technically over. And you know more, spending three weeks away, your life is over. Until your kid turns 18 and can fend for themselves, your life is over. Okay? That is my opinion. Loses 200 subscribers. Getting nose jobs, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I'm pro surgery. Do what the fuck you want with your body. It's your body. If you got the money, and you have an insecurity, and you want to change it, go for it. But getting nose jobs promotes it promotes the European standard of beauty, which is a part of white supremacy. So basically, when I see people who are of um, who are of Jewish um, background or people who are of Native American background or African background or basically if they have larger noses that come from their ancestors a lot of times they want to get nose jobs because a lot of times they feel like getting having a big nose isn't pretty or isn't nice and having a big nose there's nothing wrong with it okay I see nothing wrong with having a big nose specifically because your ancestors your African ancestors pass on their nose to you so you know or whatever answers you have so i feel like if you want to go to the doctor because those people go to the doctor they try to get their nose thinner smaller and shaped in a pointy way yeah that's the european standard of beauty i'm just saying okay orange is the new black had a terrible finale it was awful it was just terrible like there was no conclusion it just wasn't a good ending it was a cliffhanger i just feel like it was it was garbage and i feel like there should have been at least one more season there's nothing wrong with kissing your kids on the mouth. People always say, oh, that's mad weird. I don't even, I don't even care if you're 15, 25, or you're kissing your parents on the mouth. It's not that serious to me. Like, I went to high school with this one kid. His name was Lewis. And I remember he told, like, our whole entire group at the table, there's nothing wrong with kissing your parents on the mouth. And he was, what, like, he was 19 at the time? He was a senior. And he was, like... Yeah, every morning when his dad drops him off to school, he kisses his dad on the mouth. And I don't see it that serious. Like, many people say, that's mad weird, that's strange, that's, ab that's abnormal. Listen, the only reason some of y'all are saying that is because most, more than likely, you didn't get much affection as a kid. I didn't get affection either, but I see it in both point of views. And I don't see it as that serious, kissing your kid on the mouth. It's not that deep. It's not strange. It's just affection. And people grow up... Saying to their parents all the time, I love you after a phone call, hugging their parents when they leave, and kissing their parents out of mouth. It is what it is. Queen Naja really fell off. 
Her career isn't where it used to be, and she really has a lot of potential, and she's really wasting it. And I feel like her potential is being wasted and going down the drain, specifically because of a certain man that she's tied down to. And plus, it had a lot to do with her having a kid. That's just how I feel. She has a lot of potential. She's very talented with a very strong fan base, but her music career isn't taking off as much as it used to, because I feel like she's dwelling too much on being a YouTuber rather than being a solidified musical artist. But that's a whole other video within itself. I personally think people are having kids for views. I don't want no one sitting up here saying, well people, these are real people, and they have real lives, and they doing real things. Nobody is trying to be fake, bitch. People are having kids for views, okay? Not all, but some. And if you feel attacked, then yes, bitch, I'm talking about you. Stop using kids for views. Kids are not accessories. Kids are real life commitments, okay? People having kids, documenting every single little bit of it, monetizing, monetizing every bit of their kid's life but then the kid is so used to having a, a camera in their fucking face did you guys know that ace family their daughter sometimes does this and says uh, i don't want to film today okay yeah some of y'all having kids for views i said what i said if you're a person of color specifically black and you don't want white people saying nigga or you hate white people saying nigga this is my this is my my, my response to you stop saying it your damn self Okay, if we're gonna get mad at every other race that's not black saying nigga, don't say it yourself. People say, well, we can say it because at the end of the day, it doesn't, it doesn't oppress us when we use it towards each other. It's hypocritical to say that you don't think white people should say it, but then get mad. don't get mad when other people say it to you. You know what I'm saying? And there are some black people who even give some white people a nigga pass, and I'm just like, look, I understand why people get upset, but I feel like it's just... Listen, if you're mad at white people saying nigga, then you shouldn't be saying to yourself. I mean, black people, we are the trendsetters, right? So the only reason they say it is because we say it. And wouldn't it end if we all just stop saying it all together? I'm just saying. I'm going to still, still say nigga. I don't care if a white person says nigga. I don't care if an Asian person says nigga. I'm from Miami. People say it around me all the fucking time. I don't give a fuck. Black women play a huge role in colorism just as much as black men do. Let's be, let's be realistic, y'all. Like, there are literally black women who say, oh, black men this, black men that, but then there's other black women who turn around and say, oh, well, I don't date light-skinned guys because they dicks too little. Or I don't date um, dark-skinned guys because they're too aggressive. See, I like light-skinned guys, and I think it's just personally because I don't want no nappy What? Do people not hear the hypocrisy and the prejudice of that? Black skins are too sensitive. Dark skins have better dick. Like, come on now. Like, that's literally colorism. And a lot of you guys are so numb to it. Not all of you guys, but some. A lot of people are so numb to that that they don't see any wrong with what they say. Like, people are so numb to negative things that they have s since normalized it. Like, no, 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 no. Black people as a whole play a role in colorism. Let's be realistic. And for those of y'all who say that I know some of y'all out there, a lot of y'all black women say I only date dark skins. Why? Let me ask you a question. Why do you only eat dark skins? Black women out there, why do you only date light skins? A good man is a good man. Or a good woman is a good woman. Man, dark skin this is for black men and women. Why do you only prefer a specific color? I don't know. I'm just attracted to somebody darker than me. I don't know. I'm attracted to somebody lighter than me. I don't know. I'm attracted to somebody that's caramel. Why? If you can't tell me why exactly and give me a good point on why you prefer someone that's lighter or darker than you in your race, not just black people, but people of Latin descent, people of native descent. If you say you prefer a lighter person in your race, if this is colorism. If you prefer someone lighter or darker in your race, colorism. That's what I'm saying. Having prejudiced views on why you prefer a lighter skinned person or a darker skinned person is colorism. Envy a young boy gets way too much credit. All schools need metal detectors, period, point, fucking blank. They love putting metal detectors in hood schools, but they won't put them in white schools. They won't put them in good area schools. And I could have sworn that's where a lot of school shootings happen, but that's another video that we're not going to get into. All schools need metal detectors. The city girls did not start, period, okay? I was saying fucking period before the city girls were saying period. It's annoying as fuck that every time I say period point blank, people say, oh, you a city boy, you want to 
You was listening to the City Girls. I don't listen to shit, bitch. I was saying period before it was cool. It was a thing. They didn't create it. They just popularized it. Normani, hands down, deserves all the hype she's getting. People love to hype mediocre pop artists, but a dark skinned artist who can dance, sing her ass off, and act. It's finally getting praised. People got something to say. Normani, go get him, girl. What Alexis Sky did to that girl, in case you guys didn't know, Alexis Sky basically went to a cucumber pool party, grabbed a cucumber, penetrated a porn star with it, took it out and put it in her mouth, and many women were pissed off and were saying that it promotes a bad message, okay? She ain't no fucking role model, okay? Alexis Sky ain't y'all mom, ain't y'all mamas, and she's damn sure not in charge of y'all kids. I don't think what she did was that serious. It's not that serious. Two consenting adults. It ain't that serious. Having kids with no marriage is perfectly fine. If somebody wants to have kids, if somebody wants to have 20 kids, 30 kids, 50 kids, and they're not married, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with, with being boyfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend, or girlfriend and girlfriend for 10 fucking years without getting married. You don't have to get married. Society says you have to get married. There needs to be a legal contract that binds fathers with their children. If Fathers sign the birth certificate, I think legally, legally, they should be binded to, to be in their child's life. People might say, well, there's child support. No, 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 no. Legally binded to be in child's life or they do jail time. Unless there's some other reason that you're a danger to that child. Psych tests need to be given to kids in school all over the world every five years. From kindergarten to 6th grade, to high school, to ninth grade, no matter what, kids need psych tests. Y'all want to stop school shooters, bitch? There's the answer. Give kids psych tests. Because a lot of times, kids have to find out last minute that they have anxiety. Why the fuck did I have to find out at the age of 16 that I have anxiety when I've always fucking had it, when I really look back? Huh? Eh? I think teachers should have cameras in their classroom. Some teachers be full of shit, some teachers don't be shit, and some teachers be not teaching at all. I had this one teacher bitch who barely taught, almost everybody failed the fucking class, and every time somebody um, went to complain, the guys counselors were like, okay, I'll talk to her. And then when the guys counselor to talk to her, she would show, show them the syllabus, the curriculum, and she would show them the notes and the work the kids did to prove that she was teaching the kids. And I'm like, that doesn't prove anything. So, I think... Listen, I don't care about the whole pop-ups because sometimes in a lot of schools, the randomly superintendents and staff pop up and teach classrooms to look around and observe. No, 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 that's not enough. These shits right here in the cafeteria were nasty as fuck. The sauce was too damn sweet and the cheese sticks were all hard and nasty. Mm, these shits were nasty as fuck. You don't have to beat your kids. People have this mindset where, no, no, kids need a smacking, kids need a spanking. Nah, that stems from slavery. When the niggas wasn't listening. You don't have to beat your kids. There's other way. I know some people who didn't get beat at all and still turned out perfectly fine, educated, and are balanced people and are very close with their parents. And I got beat as a child by my father, and that shit only made me fear him and look at him stop away and have no respect for him after a while. It works for some people, but you don't have to beat your kids. Ariana Grande sometimes blackfishes. I'm not going to get too deep into that. Y'all just need to look at these pictures right here. I'm just saying. She went from looking like a Girl Scout to a goddamn Middle Eastern woman. And then she wears those yakky ponytails. Come on now. People only let her get away with shit because she could sing. There is nothing wrong with people wanting to eat dog meat, okay? I see no problem with dog meat. I know it's common and popular in places like South Korea and Vietnam. It's also popular in places like Nigeria. Listen, there's nothing wrong with dog meat. If you want to eat dog meat, it's perfectly fine, okay? If you want to eat rough rough and meow, I don't give a fuck, okay? And for those of y'all who want to say, nah, you wrong, that's nasty, that's weird as fuck. Okay, bitch, well, you don't, have, you don't seem to have a problem with eating lamb. Baby lambs, bitch. You don't seem to have a problem with eating chickens who get separated from their families and are slaughtered, injected with steroids, 
as they erode in your body and will kill you because the government is trying to kill us. If you have a problem with people eating dog meat, have a problem with you eating all meat. That's what I'm saying. It's either all, all okay or none of it's okay. Animals are put on the planet, like most people say, for us to eat, right? Mukbangers do not promote obesity. They eat what the fuck they want, and people can eat what the fuck they want and have no control, okay? Mukbangers are not your damn parents. Mukbangers are not your caregivers. It's not that serious. Great value seasonings are not good seasonings, okay? Every time I see a great value seasoning, I cringe, and when I use great value seasonings, it's just, there's something about it that I just don't like. Great value seasonings just aren't good. I'm just saying. All seasonings do not, do not work the same. Please don't believe that bullshit people tell you. If you do not pick up your dog's shit, you deserve eight fucking years in prison. You deserve eight fucking years in prison, and you deserve one year probation. I hate when people don't fucking pick up their dog's shit. I had this one fucking friend that said, oh, I'm picking up my dog's shit. No one does that. If, listen, then you can even create a law that if, you, if a dog shit's on the floor and you don't pick it up, and they, or you don't tell your dog to fucking bury it, you need eight years in prison, you dumb bitch, and you need a year of probation. Because that's disgusting. I stepped in dog shit before because of nasty neighbors, and I'm not with that shit. Aaliyah over Janet Jackson, hands down. It's okay not to vote, but if you complain about some shit that you could have prevented had you voted, then you a whole bitch, okay? I don't vote, because I don't see it as, I, it's not really worth my time. Maybe I can my mind one day. Maybe if I get good options, I'll vote. But other than that, until I hear a, we're gonna end racism, then I'll, then I'll vote. If we're not hearing that, I'm not voting. Cancer research studies, disease research studies, no one should be donating to it, okay? So many researchers have said that you can eat plenty of things to prevent certain cancer, certain diseases. Certain diseases may run in your family, but there's the, there's literally things you can eat and consume to reverse certain things, treat certain things, okay? Hospitals are not curing anybody. They're only treating you. Until they find a way to cure a disease in a taxable way, ain't no cure, bitch. I'm just saying. So cancer research studies, I don't donate my money to those. I don't deserve to donate my money to any of these disease research studies specifically because I'd rather watch what I eat and take care of my body than put my money towards something where I know but I don't I don't know exactly where it's going to. I don't know if they can be testing that shit on children. I don't know what the fuck they could be doing. And my last and popular opinion is the Proud family does not need to fucking come back. I guess if you guys didn't know, the Proud family's coming back and it's coming on Disney Channel's new streaming platform, and I'm not fucking here for it because I feel like they're going to fuck it up. Apparently, Kim, I mean not Kim, fucking Penny Proud is going to be a grown-ass woman, living life, dating, and it's going on Disney Channel, so I don't expect much from it. They're going to fuck it up just like how they fucked up Dazzle Raven. Raven's home is mad fucking whitewashed, corny-ass jokes. Proud family is going to be just the same. I'm predicting it now. I'm still going to watch it to give it a chance, but... They should just leave it alone. Leave a classic alone. Or leave the storyline the same and sell it to a network that would treat it well, like Netflix. Or treat it, give it to a platform like FX. Or give it to a platform like fucking, I don't know, like Hulu. Give it to a good platform that'll produce good episodes and that'll keep the storyline flowing. Hire the same writers from before. There you go, guys. Those are my problematic, unpopular opinions. Comment, uh, I'm still here. If you did not subscribe, let me know what you guys thought about this unpopular opinions. Tell me your unpopular opinions and which ones you didn't agree with. It is what it is. It's my fucking opinion. And I said what the fuck I said, bitch. But yeah, that was that for this video. People should like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's that. Make sure y'all subscribe to my second channel. Videos every day on there. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. Oh, unbreak my heart, said you love me again, and I had these tears in the door, from the dark out the dark, and I grow my life, and I tears. I cry too many nights I break my heart
my heart. Doubt that for this video. If you wish to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, that's that. Thank you. And make sure you subscribe to my second channel and let me know if you made it to the end.